What's going on everyone? Michael Druck Gaming here, bring you episode 23 of our Pokemon Xenoverse Xeno Lock. In the last episode, we managed to take down our fifth gym leader and got our fifth gym badge without losing a single team member. I cannot remember the last time that has happened. We went to the bottom of Westar City afterwards, where we found out that Team Dimension has taken over this train called the Quasar Express. And we, of course, were tasked with coming on the train and defeating Team Dimension. I believe we are standing right outside the boss's cart. I believe her name's Dahlia. Uh, Aster and Alice already went in ahead. So we are going to start off this episode right away with a boss battle, it seems. Her ace is Scoville. So I think I'm going to put Rapidash on the front of our party because she might have some other grass types. Are we ready? Sure, why not? It's music. You don't have to battle these guys. That's good. This piano. I love this. At least someone tell me there's like a sheet music for this out there somewhere. I would totally learn how to play this. Oh, there's actually a guy there. So, Michael, what do you think of my melody? I love it. Can we hear more? Who are you? What's wrong, one young one? Meowth got your tongue. V Victor, curse you! Ugh. Oh, I see. You're not short on surprises. It looks like little Aster has come to visit as well. But what surprises me the most is seeing Versal's son here. What a nice family reunion. <laughs> what are you doing here on the Quasar Express? You should know it's one of the region's treasures. You're absolutely right, dear Aster. But you know, some things are more important than a trifle like this one. I need a lift to Dorado Village, and this train speed was just what I needed. You see, there's something over there that piqued my interest. Of course, it's thanks to good old Versal Studies, if this information reaches my ears. And not just that. Gengar! What are they doing to it? Putting my hands on a next specimen like this Gengar was a nice bonus for my plans. I have to say that Lady Fortune is on my side now more than ever. What I ask of you now is to kindly leave and stop being a hindrance to us, since I still need Varysel's help. Ugh! Oh, oh snap, Shulong, calm down, buddy. Hey, Michael, stay calm, he's trying to play mind tricks on you. Don't fall for that, or you're going to succumb to the Xenoverse energy. Snap out of it, please! What a sight to behold, Michael. I bet you're itching to knock the stars out of me, right? Well, so be it. On guard. Tyranitar, it's your turn. Oh, it's Dad. Sure, us and Dad, Mom, Dad. Uh, are we changing into our shadow form? Looks like it. Urgh. Hey, Michael, what's happening to you? The energy is overflowing, but it's completely corrupted by hatred. This is bad. Michael, calm down, please. You're giving him exactly what he wants. Urgh. That's all I can say, apparently. You think that this mere excuse of power will be enough to bring me down? Kid, you still have much to learn. Now that I'm seeing with my own eyes, I can't help but believe Trey's words. Who is Trey? <laughs> Darn it, this isn't going well. Even Shulong has been engulfed by the darkness of Xenoverse energy. Hey, Michael, stop. You're going to make the train explode. Oh, boy. It can't end like this. Su Suicune Mega. Mega? Mega Suicune? Oh, what a mess. Guys, you are right. Luckily for us, yes. Thank you for saving us, Aster. Don't mention it. It was the least I could do, Alice. Michael, Michael how are you feeling now? It looks like he's still being influenced by that dark power. Hmm, where did that Victor go? Has he managed to flee before the explosion? Urgh. 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Victor's left. What's all this ruckus over here, Roger? Oh, these goons. Hey, brother. I think this mess has been caused by them, Roger. B. Yes, brother. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm the one who talks first here? Sorry. Now back on track. B. I think this mess has been caused by them, Roger. But, but brother, this is exactly what I said before. Will you shut up for once, you badly assembled piece of scrap? I'm the one who makes the rolls here. I'd rather not interrupt you in a pivotal moment like this, but who are you two supposed to be? Here we go again. Another one who doesn't have a clue about who we are. My robotic heart has been broken once again, Roger. There's some troublemakers called AMB, the Dimension Surgeons who invaded the campus a while ago. Oh, goody. It looks like somebody here does remember our mugs. Where do you want the autograph front, Roger? I didn't ask for one. Thank you very much. Art.exe has stopped working. Enough with this nonsense, clowns. What do you want from us? You see, your shenanigans here are going to cost our stop to Hypelion City, and you know what that means. It means me and my partner here are going to miss the presentation of our idol's latest song, and who's going to put up with Crybaby's complaints? I'm going to, of course, Roger. Actually. Urgh. Michael, I know I shouldn't give you this kind of idea, but if you think that following Victor is the right thing to do, then go. Let me and Alice handle these two clowns here, don't worry. It's going to be a pleasure, Aster, but please, Michael, be careful. Hey, Gengar. Okay, so... We can't get back there. Oh, boy. We're still shadow form. Hmm, I wonder if we have to battle him. I'm gonna move you to the front. Michael, I knew you would have caught up with me. Now that we're outside, we'll finally be able to fight the maximum extent of our potentials, don't you think? Arrgh! Hey, General, I'm here for you. Oh, what a surprise, Colonel. I was just about to start the battle. Oh, my General, why would you waste your precious energies on such a small fish? I, on the other hand, still have a bone to pick with this little pest. This looks like by the time to finally settle the score. If you really insist, Colonel, my objective merely was to test the abilities. Arrgh. Let me handle this, my General. I'll crush this little maggot in no time. Come on, come on. Okay, so we are fighting Dahlia. Okay, the... I have Rex wing him up front. Please don't lead with a grass type. Please don't lead with a grass type. You lead with a gloom. Level 42. I mean, let's just see. Oh, we missed. Oh, we missed. Sludge bombed. That was a crit. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Uh, let's go to Rapidash. Go Rapidash. And now we Giga Drains. Okay, I'm glad we made it. Made the decision to switch. Gonna bounce. Sludge Bomb missed. Withdrawals? Vespa Quinn. Okay. I mean, it sucks because we're gonna use more PP now. Because of pressure. Actually, we didn't. That's fine. Okay, so Vespa Queen goes down. Rapidash grows to level 47. Nice. Scoville. We're gonna stay in. Dragon Pulse? Oh, we missed. Thank you. She withdraws. Scoville and send it out. Gloom. Okay, well, Gloom goes down. I'm very confused on Dahlia's strat. Let's go with again. Is this her last mon, or does she have one more? No, this is her last mon. Okay. Easy money, easy money. Hot Chili Pepper. That was his signature move. Ooh, it didn't kill. Okay, Scovel's paralyzed. A flame body. A fully parried. Okay. 
an air cutter still should KO, right? And it does. Let's go Rapidash. Let's go Rapidash. Round of applause for Rapidash. Round of applause. Dolly goes down. No, I can't lose while he's watching. Okay. Oh, this is embarrassing. And to think I'd lose right in front of you, my general. Curdle, step aside. You're nothing but a hindrance. Uh, do you have to actually battle him now? Quite gifted, but not gifted enough to really make a difference. That's not Mega Tyranitar. You see, this Tyranitar has been subjected to several experiments by the most talented scientists. Do you really think you are the only one who has free will over the Xenoversal energy? Science can do everything. Allow me to give you a taste of the immense power born from the X gene. Oh man. Au revoir, Michael. Oh, I don't want to battle. Oh. Where... Where are we? Hmm. Oh, we can walk. Oh, 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 oh. Rex Mm-hmm, hmm, hmm, hmm. Where are my antidotes? There you are. So Rexquium gets healed up. Oh, and Burn Heal. Thank, thank God we have Burn Heal. Blaine warned us. We better have Burn Heal. And we'll get, we're going to use the Super Potion on Rexquium. That's fine. That's fine. When it's us. And so, we finally meet once again. You're probably wondering what kind of place th is this, right? Well, you see, this is a middle dimension, available only to those who possess energies. You could say this is a bona fide limbo of sorts. Don't waste your breath, Michael. I already know everything about that, Victor. I mean, after you stole my ex-energy, I'm basically a part of you. Kind of like your shadow. Don't worry, that man would never be able to enter this dimension, even though he tried to replicate the Xenoverse energy through some lame experience experiments. However, his words hold some truth. In fact, it's undeniable that, as of now, you have no choice, chance of defeating him unless you let yourself be completely engulfed by my will. In that case, you could actually have a chance. Uh, don't worry, I have no intense intention of challenging you. Even if I were to take control of your body, I would stand a chance against that, Victor. If you really are that adamant on challenging him, why don't you train yourself to do that? By doing so, the next time you meet him, your sizzling hatred will free me once again, and I'll be able to freely use your new potential. <laughs> Come on, don't give me that look, Michael. You should know by now in that in this world, weaklings are destined to stay behind, while those who show no mercy are destined to become invincible. Well, it seems our time here is over. The attack has drained all of my energy, so my influence on you is dwindling. But remember, all of your attempts to counter your hatred are futile, because this won't be the last time we meet. See you next time, Michael. Oh, and we're back. Hey, Michael, wake up, please. Don't worry, it's all over now. Oh, oh. Oh, thank goodness you're awake now. I was worried. I'm glad to see you're okay. Seems he's no longer under the effect of that Xenoverse energy, but what happened to him on the roof of that train? As I thought, your memories are still fuzzy. While we were taking care of those dandies, there was a huge explosion, and then we found ourselves here without knowing why, naturally. Victor and his goons vanished. What are you saying? The detonation was caused by his Pokemon? Who would have thought that Victor would be able to unleash such an enormous power? I have a really bad feeling about this. Pardon the interruption, Aster, but what are we going to do with that Pokemon over there? Hmm. Of course. All this talking made me forget the goal. You see, that explosion must have brought here that Pokemon as well. What happened some time ago in Ishtar City, and now Victor's words. All of this makes me wonder what this Gengar is actually capable of. I've decided I'm going to bring it to the lab to properly analyze it. What, Michael? Are you sure about that? 
Alrighty, you know I always trust you. Pikachu, you ready? Hey guys, are you out of your mind? Hmm. Hey, what kind of place is this? Wait, is he talking? Fascinating. It's the first time I come face to face with a Pokemon who's capable of talking our language. Enough with your chatter, you foolish humans! But you, you're that wretched kid. Will you explain to me what in tarnation is going on here? Calm down. You should know that it's thanks to Michael if you're free from Team Dimension now. You should at least show some gratefulness. Team Dimension? Are you talking about those brain dead pieces of scraps? It was brain dead pieces of scraps that captured you so they could extort your information about the Xenoverse. Anyways, I'd like you to cooperate us so we can stop Victor. I would have preferred taking you to my lab to restore your energies, but it looks like that cage was keeping your energies in check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, hold it. Did you just say Victor? I'm starting to remember. The guy with his Tyranitar KO'd me in one single hit. The thought of meeting him again scares the heck out of me. And it's only thanks to Michael if you're able to roam free once again. I don't know what happened to him, but I have the feeling he's trying to counter his hatred and freeing this Gengar, someone who he fought against before more than once, is proof of that. If only Versal could see how much you've grown up, he'd be proud of you, Michael. Oh, come on, do you really think a king is going to stoop so low as to thank a mere subordinate? Your faces are starting to make me sick. I'm leaving. I'll have you know that this is going to be the last time you see me like that. Got it? All I need is to stuff my face full to restore my energies. I do, Michael. Okay. We don't get Gengar. That Pokemon is a real piece of work. It's gone. Well, too bad. I guess I'm going back to Hadwarf at City empty-handed. <laughs> Michael, listen up. By following this route, you're going to get to Hypeleon, the City of Music. There you can rest for, while also finding a gym where you and your Pokemon can test your skills. Don't hesitate and contact me if you find out new information about Team Dimension, okay? Me and Suicune will always be ready to run to you in a split second. Yeah, freaking Mega Suicune. Very well. Alice, it's time to go home. I have to go now. See you soon. Wow, okay. So this is Route 8. Did we catch anything in Route 8? Is this a new route? Wow, okay, yes. So we're on the complete opposite side of the map. Okay. We can't. We can't go there. All right. Let's see what we can find here on Route Eight. It's a room bug. Already have one. Had one. Sorry. This is Dupes Claws. Is there anything new here? I mean, it looks the same and sounds the same, Scraggy, as uh, the Sunflare Canyon. So I'm kind of assuming that there won't be anything new. I'm just run around a little bit more. So just more room bugs. Alright, we're gonna get this one and one more. Peck a bone, we already have peck a bone. Alright, one more. And if not, I'll come back. I'll look it up and come on back, like mid or in between episodes. And see what I can find. If there's anything new. Or we'll just catch another room bug. I mean, I wouldn't mind another room bug. Rapidash might actually be a better suit for us than a uh, hanged. Oh, Risk. Exquam, what are you doing, buddy? Thank you. Bye. Cowboy Gray. Easy, buddy. Easy. Dressed like Woody from Toy Story. Looking creep. We got the merchant there. What's this? Nan's house. Don't worry. Come inside. I'm big and tall, but I won't eat you, okay? 
During the day, this candy feels like an oven, but at night it's freezing outside. Come on, don't be shy, stranger. Have a seat by the fireplace and rest as much as you want. Oh, nice. Very cool. Gives us a chance to heal our mons. Okay. So I guess our goal was to get to this Hypelion City, the city of music. Pinch. Alright, it's only level 36. It should not be that bad. Let's take a knockoff. Easy. And Rexpoom is at 51 already. Nice. But brava. Yeah, let's go to let's go to Shulong. Shulong hasn't been out for a while. Shulong's kind of been just chilling in the back. Yeah, and let's Dragon Pulse. Boom. Goodbye, bye, brother. Crustal. Ah, let's stay in. What's the hustle, little Crustal? Now we're gonna Scald. Oh, and he has Sturdy X Scissor. That was a crit. Could we not, please? Skull takes him out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Goodbye, Crystal. Too long is at 47. Let's heal back up since Shu Long took a lot of damage there. Alright, so we are on our way to our sixth gym badge. I just want to see this item. Room bug. I have a feeling we're going to get another room bug. I really don't see anything else um, new in this route. Again, Lonberry. I do think we're pretty over leveled. <laughs> we are a little over leveled, so if I don't fight everyone, that's okay. It's just she's the baby on her back on that sprite. That's ridiculous. Does me. Oh, it's their little dragon bud. It's our little dragon friend. Alright, knock off. Come through. Or dust me. Wister Act? I don't what's a Wister Act? What am I looking at? It looks like that, um, Nunville. Maybe an evolution of Nunville? Okay. It's fine. What a weird mon. You literally let me win with that curse. Since that was your last mon. Pack a bone, yeah, I really do. I think that, um, Vroombug is going to be our encounter, which is fine. Just fine. I mean, we don't necessarily need Hanged and Scarphasma, right? I mean, they're both the same typings. One's just Ghost Psychic, the other is Psychic Ghost. Got a Landsat Berry, okay. I'll come back and battle if we need like grinding or anything. I'll come back and battle these trainers in between episodes. I can look. I can also look at what the gym leader levels are. Obviously, don't want to spoil any mons or anything for me, but just look at what the levels are. Let's just scrag. I'm I'm almost thinking, you know, if the Sheriff Casper that gym leader, his mods were what, 40? His ace was only 40, so I can't Rapidash. 
can't imagine that we're going to need to do any grinding. Maybe if we do get a um, broom bug, we'll have to get broom bug up. X accuracy, that's kind of useless. Wonder what is over there. Oh well. Interesting. Whatever. We're at about 25 minutes now. Hypelion City. Oh, look who's here! Michael! It's really you! You remember me, your number one fan, right? Well, anyway, welcome to Hypelion City. Music's heaven. If my hunches are right, I'd say you came to this town to snag a new badge, don't you? That's, yeah, that would be accurate. <laughs> I know you like the back of my hand. See, you couldn't have chosen. I'll have you know that all activities in this town, gym challenges included, will be suspended due to the big event that Wallace Daddy is going to hold here tomorrow. Is that the gym leader? Really? You know nothing about it? It's been on everyone's lips lately. Do you live in the Xenoverse, maybe? Tomorrow, Wallace Daddy, Eldu's most acclaimed singer, is going to perform just to present his new song. What does this have to do with the gym being closer challengers? Well, Daddy, that's weird, other than being super famous among young fans for his music, is also a renowned trainer. He is Hypelion City's gym leader. Do you see now? Uh, okay. I had an idea. The gym won't host trainers for a while, so I have nothing better to do than stay here twirling my thumbs. So how about we do a little tour of the city? Come on, come with me. I'll be your guide to the wonders of this melodical metropolis. I guess we don't have a choice. The x graffiti and Gyarados graffiti? Yeah. What's a lope <laughs> mega lopony statue or like picture thing? This building is nothing less than the hip top store, the fashion brand renowned in all L do. The clothes you see here on display are a part of Daddy's branded collection. He's the brand's creator. If you'd like compulsive shopping, this is the perfect place for you. Keep an eye out on how much you spend, though. Nothing's cheap here. Nothing's cheap here. Enough with the chit chat. Let's proceed with our tour. Yeah. I she didn't know I could rap. Here we are, Michael. We have now arrived in Hypelion City's heart, the Concert Square. As you can see by the crowd, you can guess this is where the great Wallace Daddy is going to perform. If I'm being honest, I'm also a big fan of his. I can't wait for the show to begin. Forgive me. I'm so excited that I got carried away. Let's keep up with our walk. There's still much more to see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. 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 What's that? The Hanshin? This is the Hypelion Rail Station. Here's where the Quasar Express for West Star City. Quasar Express departs for West Star City, where you can admire the incomparable sunset on the rocky heights of Sunflare Canyon. As you can see, it's covered in murals, but don't worry, the stylistic choice is simply part of the general atmosphere you can perceive in this town. It's not abandoned, although it seems like it is out of order due to a breakdown. Do you have anything to do with that by chance? No. Definitely not me. And here we are, finally. And here we finally are to Hypelion City's gym, Wallace Daddy's abode. At the top of this skyscraper, there's the Golden Studio, where Daddy arranged all of his albums. Moreover, inside, the most talented artists under the gym leader's wing are going to challenge you to the beat. Too bad you'll have to wait until you can prove yourself here, since the gym is closed, but there's a surprise. To celebrate tomorrow's event, Daddy set up a buffet for the whole town, and free of charge to boot. What a golden boy. Quite literally. Heh. <laughs> Heh. I won't be able to see you at work and cheer for you, but I'll be more than glad to partake in this feast. Come on, let's get in. Okay. Welcome. It's like a QR code. This buffet has been arranged on Mr. Daddy's kind behalf to promote his new song coming out tomorrow. 
You may serve yourselves and remember that everything is free of charge. Okay, okay, I, I can get down with some buffets. Look at all these delicacies. If you don't mind, I'm gonna dig in, Michael. So I don't know what to do here. Yeah. Cakes. Sweets look delicious. Yum. Try these cream puffs. They're delicious. There were no sweets arranged. Was there a change of plans? Since they've already been served, so be it. You may serve yourselves freely. Hmm. No, they wolfed them. Mistress, we're really sorry you couldn't eat anything. Please accept what? We didn't get anything? We got a rare candy though. Hmm, a piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. This can be. The sweets look delicious. Whatever, Michael. It's time to go. I want what? Lame. Ah, oh, that hit the spot. Too bad for the dessert, but it's no big deal. Michael, you must be tired after such a long day. It must be hard to live as a trainer, huh? I know just the place where you can rest as much as you want. Come with me. Okay. As soon as I guess the tour guide is done, then we're gonna wrap up our episode here. Nice chill, lo-fi beat. Yeah, yeah. These people dress up in like Pokemon costumes. That's oh, the Pokemon Center. Oh, nope, it's not the Pokemon Center. Here we are, Michael. This humble house is all for you and your Pokemon. Make yourself at home. Be comfy and sleep till your heart's content on that amazing bed. Now I really have to go. I wouldn't want to be out of energy tomorrow. I suggest take a night snap for yourself, but if you want to take one more stroll, feel free to do that. Anyway, sweet dreams, and I swear this isn't a joke about the buffet. Okay, so... I do want to go to the Pokemon Center. And then I think we're going to wrap up our episode. I don't want to sleep in the bed and then have that trigger an event or something. So we'll talk to Nurse Joy. Here are Mons. Let's talk to talk to you. Okay, so Hypelion was born in Wallace Daddy's love for music. And he apparently comes from Alola. Interesting. Oh, you need a dusk stone. I should have an extra one I can give you. Okay, dude. Alright, so, looks like a perfect place to wrap up today's episode. In the next one, I guess we're going to have a concert and maybe take on our sixth gym leader and possibly, hopefully, get our sixth gym badge. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any happenings here on the channel. I hope you all have an amazing day. My name is Michael Drug Gaming. You're awesome. And I will talk to you later. Peace.